Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Now, remember my little like Arteza gouache versus Turner acryl gouache? So, like acryl gouache versus regular gouache? Remember how I said that I sent back Turner acryl gouache to get the Hemi gouache set? Now, these are jelly paint gouache set. That's right, jelly paints and look at this cute little case it came with like a little tray to mix on and the case is blush pink and they sent me pretty cute little blush pink paintbrushes so let's open one of these and you're gonna see it looks like jelly or clay or goodness i don't know it looks like slime it, it looks like is it edible no don't eat it it smells terrible <laughs> it actually smells really bad like you can smell the toxins so I'm gonna forewarn you there that it kind of like the toxins as in the chemicals in the jelly paint so if you open one up you see it's very jelly-ish this is gouache paint guys this is insane let's keep opening them up and I mean just after opening them up you can see how appealing and aesthetically pleasing to the eye that these jelly paints are and so far, my first impression is they stank, <laughs> but it's just fun. They're fun and they look cool. They are not edible. Do not eat them. <laughs> I did not try to eat them, but still, they're very tempting to eat. They look like candy and little things like little, little tray boxes, <laughs> but they're very pretty. These are a good selection. I bought the 24 color set. You know, I returned the Turner Acryl and got this 24 uh, Hemi gouache set off of Amazon. That's where I got it from. And we're gonna go ahead and I'm using my cold press visual journal uh, watercolor paper to kind of swatch this out. You can see the colors are very vibrant. Now, I was getting first impressions swatching out all my colors. I was getting the impression that this is kind of very more watercolor esque than gouache. It's not as thick. And I mean, and as I'm going through and swatching them out, I'm finding out like, you know, the more water you add, it's gonna be more diluted looking, which is typical for every gouache because it's a, like a watercolor base. It's more, you know, it's water soluble so you can manipulate it a little bit more using water. So since Maya Himi Gouache, Maya Company is based in Japan and Himi is a product by Maya and I went to go ahead and do a fun like Japanese anime kind of illustration using the Himi gouache. Now, um, I grew up with this show, but I wasn't allowed to watch it. Sailor Moon. <laughs> My mom just, you know, moms be moms. They see stuff. If they don't like it, they're not going to let their kids watch it or they're not going to let their kids like it. Every mom is different. They call the shots. It's their kids. You, I mean, kids, we don't like it when we, when our mom says, no, don't watch it. <laughs> and I was upset when my mom said, no, you're not allowed to watch it. But I wanted to go ahead and do a Sailor Moon illustration because now that I'm 30 years old and I can pay for stuff like Hulu, <laughs> I'm now watching all the 90s like cartoons of Sailor Moon. So I have, I'm starting from the 90s version and I heard that I've already gotten like People have already filled me in saying, hey, you are not watching the original English dub version on Hulu. And I went, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? I was like, why? And then I said, this really reminds me a lot of Miraculous Ladybug. And somebody else came through and said, hey, you know, the girl who does Miraculous Ladybug, um, yeah, same voice as Sailor Moon in the new English dub on Hulu. And I was like, what? <laughs> so I did see some similarities with Miraculous Ladybug and Sailor Moon. And I could talk about those later, but let's go ahead. And you can see I'm watching Sailor Moon right there. <laughs> so let's go ahead and talk a little bit about Himi Gouache, like my first impressions. Before we jump into my review of Himi Gouache, I just want to let you know, I have opened a Patreon page. Now, Patreon page is kind of like a fan-based place for you guys to support artists that you love. I have opened a page for $5 a month to offer exclusive art stuff, like exclusive like tutorials, how I do my digital paintings on Procreate, or just tips and tricks or behind the scenes looks or like work in progresses. And I just 
write awesome art blogs and I just love interacting with you guys. So if you want to, you can go ahead and check that out. I'll put it in the info box down below if you would like to become a patron. And in March, I'm going to offer actual live lessons. Like it'll be just my patrons and that's it. Be you guys and me and live art lessons. It'll be fun. We're gonna be talking a lot about a character design and just fun stuff. But yes, I'll leave that in the link down below. I actually, you could tell that from looking at the Himi gouache, I already used it before I started on this illustration of Sailor Moon. Now, the reason why is just that because these are jelly paints and they were so different, even when swatching them out, I was like, oh my goodness, I need to try to make something before I record an actual review. So I made a small little Tinkerbell illustration and you can see it on my Instagram or TikTok. And so I was playing around with this gouache and first impressions, it's pretty good. I like it. It's a lot like Arteza's gouache, which is what I'm really good at. And that's my chosen supply gouache set is by Arteza. I like them because they gave me a chance at gouache again because I was so scared of gouache because the Turner Acryl gouache scared me off because it was just, it wasn't a supply I was good at, an art supply I wasn't good at. So with Himi gouache, I saw that um, layers, layers, layers. I mean, I found that I was creating more layers with the Himi gouache set than I was with my Arteza gouache set. I was... I, and the thing is, I mean, I understand you have to let stuff dry before you want to put on top of it, just like any kind of watercolor approach. But, I mean, you really, really have to let stuff dry. This painting, these paintings that I have made so far with the Himi gouache set have taken me a span of three days. Regular gouache paintings usually take me a day. And it was the fact, it wasn't the fact that I kept getting up and doing household chores and stuff. It was the fact that I actually, you know, I had to walk away because with the gouache set, Himi gouache set, I saw that if you pile it on and if you let it dry, it can crack. So it does crack. And that is what I found interesting. Kind of like my Posca pens, if you let a puddle dry, it will crack. So I don't have any like, um, and let me tell you, I was just struggling with the Sailor Moon. I have not drawn anime in so long. So you're going to see me struggling. And I mean, even at the end, you're going to see me struggling with her mouth. And I totally changed her mouth at the end. Like I got really mad and I stopped the recording and I went, this is dumb. <laughs> I'm stupid. And I changed her mouth. <laughs> but anyways, the thing is that with the Himi gouache set, the layers, it takes more time for the layers to dry to be able to layer on top of it. And I was having a lot of trouble blending. And a really big thing you need to know about Himi gouache, they're jelly paints, right? They're in those little buckets. And I originally found out about Himi gouache through a TikTok artist um, and an Instagram artist. I saw two people who were using Himi gouache. One was like a landscape kind of artist and she does landscapes. And she was using Himi gouache for her landscapes. And I thought, wow, that's really great quality. And then I saw on TikTok, I was finding more and more Himi gouache. After I posted a couple videos, I love going through hashtags. So I was going through the hashtags and seeing the other people who were posting about Himi gouache. And the one thing I don't like is it, it, it can become mildewy. Mildewy, like, <laughs> I understand paint can get mildew if you don't like tend to it often, but this stuff has like a actual mildew spray. And I saw one artist actually take a spray bottle that, you know, you could like you would use on your hair or your plants or something and she spritzed it over her himi gouache before getting started and i saw another artist who just let the her gouache set did not last long so what she did with her new himi gouache set she only opened the new ones halfway the thing is i found that i was spritzing my himi gouache a lot more than what i would like prefer there were colors there are colors in my himi gouache set that i have not used yet like the orange i barely have used like the pumpkin orange kind of look to it and 
it is cracking and I don't like that. I've only had this for about two weeks now. I'm just not a huge fan of paint that dries out really fast. I don't, I, that's one thing that turned me away from Turner Acryl was how fast that the paint dried out on my plate and I couldn't reactivate it, not a huge fan. And I don't like that this paint doesn't look like it lasts very long unless you keep spritzing it with water, buy their specific mildew spray, buy, my, buy the Maya company, or you just, I don't know. I don't know how to prevent it from drying out except like spritzing it with water constantly, risking that you might get mildew in it or buying their product. I mean, it's a, it's just like, you know, another thing you have to buy to make something function properly. Now, would I recommend Hemi Gouache if you're a beginner gouache artist? Like if you want to get into gouache and you're really interested or watercolor because honestly, this stuff can be used for like a watercolor set and a gouache set. So you've got the option of having a watercolor look to it, but you also have the option of adding more and more layers for gouache look to it. I would not recommend this as a beginner, but if you want to try a different kind of gouache set out from something you already started with, then definitely try Hemi Gouache. It's different. It's a fun kind of set. I like the jelly paint look. It's very nice. It's got beautiful vibrant colors. You can see how fun these vibrant colors are. I love the flatness at the very end when you're finished. I love the way it looks when you're all done. Now I did two other commissions with the Hemi Gouache. I did two 8x10, same size as the Sailor Moon, and one was of the fairy godmothers from Sleeping Beauty, you know, Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether, and the other one was uh, the Cinderella mice from Cinderella. And when they were done, they both took me three days, so it took a really long time for them to dry and get them done but it was mostly based on waiting on the Hemi gouache to dry to be able to layer. Each one was done with about five to seven layers and the flatness, what they looked like in the end, just seeing that flat pane, plain, I mean, they like the flat plane of beautiful opaque gouache. It's beautiful in the end. So it's got a certain finishing touch at the end that you're just like, Oh, this is just so beautiful. And the colors are beautiful. So Hemi Gouache has some positives and some significant negatives. What I really would like to do is to film a video of a side-by-side -side of Sailor Moon and Miraculous Ladybug, because, you know, I see a lot of similarities between the shows. I'd love to do like a side-by-side -side comparison of Hemi Gouache versus Arteza's Gouache, so you can see the difference between the two. And that way, if I actually set out a time to draw these two paints, uh, paintings with these Hemi Gouache and Arteza Gouache, and I can start to like write down my notes and see what is the huge differences between the two gouaches. I think that would be something I'd be interested in, but yeah, it's um, it's your call if you want to take a chance on Hemi Gouache. I'll put in a link down below in the info box, the link to Amazon where I bought mine. But if you're interested, then you're interested. It's totally up to you. You're the artist. It's your money. <laughs> so yeah, just getting a second opinion on it always works. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all later. Bye.